How shampoo is made? Ever wondered what's actually in that bottle of shampoo that keeps your hair squeaky clean? Believe it or not, there's more to it than just a good smell. In this video, we're going to take a look at the surprising world of shampoo making. Stick around until the end where we'll even reveal some fun facts about shampoo you never knew. Let's find out what goes into making this essential hair care product. Chapter 1. The Rise of Shampoo Shampoo has become a global phenomenon with billions of bottles sold every year. It's a staple in bathrooms around the world, from budget-friendly options to luxury salon brands. But how did this humble hair cleanser become so popular? It all started with a simple desire for clean hair and a bit of chemistry magic. The word shampoo comes from the Hindi word shampoo, which means to massage. The practice of cleansing hair dates back to ancient civilizations, where people used various natural ingredients like herbs, oils, and even mud to clean their hair. However, the modern shampoo as we know it today didn't come into existence until the early 20th century. In 1908, a German chemist named Hans Schwarzkopf created the first liquid shampoo. Before this, people used bar soaps or harsh detergents to wash their hair, which often left it dry and dull. Schwarzkopf's invention revolutionized hair care and paved the way for the diverse range of shampoos we have today. But did you know that up until the 1930s, people only washed their hair about once a month? It wasn't until shampoo became more widely available and advertising campaigns emphasized the importance of frequent washing that people started shampooing their hair more often. Today, many people wash their hair several times a week. Chapter two, the manufacturing process. Now, let's dive into the finer details of how shampoo is made. It's a process that requires precision, skill, and a lot of chemistry knowledge. The manufacturing of shampoo typically takes place in large facilities equipped with specialized mixing and bottling equipment. Let's walk through the steps in detail. The process begins with the formulation stage. Skilled chemists carefully select and combine ingredients to achieve the desired properties, such as cleansing power, texture, and specific benefits like volumizing or color protection. This stage can take months or even years of research and testing to perfect. The chemists consider factors like ingredient compatibility, stability, and performance to create a formula that not only cleans effectively, but also provides the desired benefits to the hair. Once the formula is finalized, the manufacturing process begins in earnest. The first step is the preparation of raw materials. Large containers of surfactants, conditioning agents, and other additives are carefully measured and prepared. Some ingredients may need to be heated or premixed before they can be added to the main batch. For example, certain thickeners need to be dispersed in water and heated to fully activate their properties. This preparation stage is crucial for ensuring that all ingredients will mix properly in the final product. Next comes the main mixing stage. This takes place in enormous stainless steel tanks that can hold thousands of gallons of product. The order of ingredient addition is carefully controlled to ensure proper mixing and prevent clumping. Typically, the main surfactant is added first, followed by secondary surfactants and conditioning agents. The mixture is continuously stirred using large industrial mixers to ensure even distribution of ingredients. As the ingredients are added, the temperature of the mixture is carefully monitored and controlled. Some ingredients may require heating to dissolve properly, while others need to be added at cooler temperatures to prevent breakdown. This temperature control is crucial for maintaining the quality and effectiveness of the final product. Once all the main ingredients are combined, the mixture undergoes a homogenization process. This involves using high-speed mixers or specialized homogenizers to break down any remaining particles and ensure a smooth, consistent texture. The shampoo is forced through tiny openings at high pressure, which breaks down any clumps and creates a uniform mixture. This step is critical for preventing separation and ensuring that the shampoo has the right feel when used. After homogenization, the pH of the shampoo is carefully measured and adjusted if necessary. This is typically done by adding small amounts of citric acid to lower the pH or sodium hydroxide to raise it. The pH is crucial not only for the health of the hair, but also for the stability of the product. If the pH is too high or too low, it can cause the shampoo to separate 
or become ineffective. Next comes the quality control stage. Samples of the batch are taken and undergo rigorous testing. Chemists check factors like pH, viscosity, color, and fragrance to ensure the shampoo meets all specifications. They also perform stability tests to ensure the product will remain consistent over time and won't separate or deteriorate on the shelf. If any issues are detected, the batch may need to be adjusted or, in rare cases, discarded and remade. If the shampoo passes all quality checks, it moves on to the cooling stage. If the mixture was heated during production, it's now carefully cooled to room temperature. This cooling process must be controlled to prevent the formation of crystals or separation of ingredients. The final ingredient to be added is usually the fragrance. Fragrances are delicate compounds that can break down if exposed to high temperatures or harsh mixing conditions. Manufacturers ensure that the scent remains fresh and true to its intended profile. After the fragrance is added, the shampoo undergoes a final mixing to ensure all ingredients are fully incorporated. This is typically a gentler process than the initial mixing to avoid creating too much foam or damaging the fragrance molecules. Finally, the shampoo is ready for packaging. The finished product is pumped into a filling machine that precisely measures and dispenses the shampoo into bottles. These bottles, which have been separately manufactured and sterilized, are then quickly capped to prevent contamination. The filled bottles then move down the production line to be labeled with product information and batch numbers for quality control and tracking purposes. The last step in the manufacturing process is packaging the bottles for distribution. This involves placing the bottles into boxes or other shipping containers, often with additional protective packaging to prevent damage during transport. The packaged products are then palletized and prepared for shipment to distributors or retailers. Did you know that a single batch of shampoo can produce thousands of bottles? Large manufacturers can produce over 100,000 bottles of shampoo in a single day. The type of packaging used for shampoo is just as important as the product inside. Most shampoo bottles are made from recyclable plastics like polyethylene, terephthalate, or high-density polyethylene. Some eco-conscious brands are even experimenting with biodegradable packaging or refillable options to reduce plastic waste. Chapter 3, The Future of Hair Care. As we become more aware of the impact our choices have on the environment and our health, the shampoo industry is evolving. Many consumers are now looking for products that are not only effective, but also sustainable and free from harsh chemicals. This has led to the rise of clean and green beauty products, including shampoos. These products often feature natural and organic ingredients, are free from sulfates and parabens, and come in eco-friendly packaging. Some innovative companies are even developing solid shampoo bars that eliminate the need for plastic bottles altogether. Another exciting development in the world of hair care is the concept of personalized shampoos. Using online questionnaires or in-person consultations, some companies now create custom blended shampoos tailored to an individual's specific hair type, concerns, and preferences. This level of customization was unheard of just a few years ago. Chapter 4, Conclusion. So, the next time you lather up in the shower, take a moment to appreciate the science and effort that goes into creating that perfect sud. And don't forget to give a like and subscribe for more informative and entertaining videos like this one.